When you worked on this scene in front of a real orchestra, you really wanted to conduct them. No question. And I messed it up the first day, the whole first day I messed it up. I got behind tempo and it was and 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 it was horrible. Bradley told Howard Stern he would settle for nothing less than perfection, conducting Gustav Mahler's second symphony in the film's intense six-minute scene. I came back and did it one more time, and that last time we did it, I was actually doing it. I, I, don't, I wouldn't have been able to believe I was Lenny, quite honestly. Bradley immersed himself in classical music for six years prior to filming and learned how to conduct exactly like Leonard Bernstein. But Bradley revealed to Gail King his love for conducting actually began when he was a child. It started with Tom and Jerry and Bugs Bunny as his kid watching them conduct. Asking Santa Claus for a baton when I was about eight or so. And then uh, just being obsessed with conducting. I love people so much that it it's hard for me to be alone. And on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Bradley opened up about working with a dialect coach to lock down Leonard's voice. And he lived basically at my house, this dialect coach, and we worked five days a week, eight hours a day, and we just broke it down because his voice always also changed throughout the course of his life. I think we have a, an intruder oh, oh, oh. in this house. Oh! Bradley surprised Leonard's three living children in the Bernstein home on CBS Sunday morning. Much of this movie was. We shot so much. Many things occurred right, <laughs> right, here. right here. Though Bradley never got to meet Leonard, who passed away in 1990 at the age of 72, Bradley was overcome with emotion while discussing his connection to the legendary conductor. But do you miss him? Me. Oh, yeah, man. What do you miss about him? It's hard to talk about. I don't know, we shared something very special, the four of us. It's hard to even articulate. And Bradley's daughter, Leah, now six years old, makes her film debut playing his daughter on screen in Maestro. Your daughter makes a cameo in this film? I wouldn't say cameo. <laughs> Yeah, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't want to disrespect her. You know what I mean? That's a role. 